Good morning. I'm Elizabeth Denham, the UK Information Commissioner. I'm responsible for overseeing freedom of information law here, as well as regulating data protection and privacy law. I also have the privilege of chairing the International Conference of Information Commissioners. A bit more on that shortly. So buenos dias, or perhaps today, good morgen is more appropriate. That's the greeting in Sweden, where access to information laws were first conceived some 250 years ago. When the right was introduced, it was with the argument that a citizen must be able to know a society's state of affairs if they are to contribute to its well-being. And that seems a good argument today. Access to information law helps us shine the light on how governments are run. Citizens learn how their society is being shaped when there is a default towards openness in public administration. The right to know has grown to become a central aspect of modern democracy. And that's reflected in UNESCO's recognition of access to information in the 2030 development agenda. As Guy Berger, UNESCO's Director of Freedom of Expression, said earlier this year, access to information is an issue that goes with the grain of history. Initial data that UNESCO has compiled showed how this right is spreading in the last five years. The number of states with freedom of information laws has risen by almost a third to 125 countries. We're all part of this movement and we must all continue our support. So days like today are an important part of that work. We all have a dual role a responsibility to support access to information in our own countries, of course, but a responsibility to support its development internationally too. This is now a universal day, emphasizing the opportunity that we have, to quote Mr. Berger again, to help convince the unconvinced. We must convince the unconvinced not only on the importance of access to information legislation, but also effective access to information regulators. The right to know cannot be based on a mere promise. It needs oversight and appeal bodies, especially when citizens demand access to politically sensitive or high profile information. Sunlight is the best disinfectant. But I'm sure everyone in this room can think of cases where government offices alone wouldn't have reached the right decision on whether to let that sunlight in and release the information. Laws can vary, reflecting differing customs, political systems, and legal backgrounds. But the presence of oversight must be there. That isn't to say that we as regulators always get it right, of course, because the right to know isn't always easy. It isn't always obvious how we should do our jobs. It isn't always obvious what information should be kept locked away and what should be shared. Ours isn't an easy job. That's why collaboration is so critical. Fortunately, this is a global community supporting one another. The International Conference of Information Commissioners brings together countries from all over the world to share best practice, to learn how we can all improve, and to defend, promote, protect, and develop access rights. Crucially, we discuss how to bring information access statutes to life. 
How do we make it work on the ground? How are we working with people who are requesting the information to make that process as straightforward as possible? How are we making sure that this is a right that's available to every level of society and to every community? Earlier this year, the ICIC met in Johannesburg. And next year, we'll meet in Brasilia. And as chair, I've stated my intention that the group becomes a year-round presence. Our role is too important and too difficult to only get together on an annual basis. That's particularly true in such a fast-changing world. Digital technology changes the right to know at a startling pace. Collaboration helps us in the complex conversations that we have today on using access to information laws to hold government to account. On topics like social media advertising and cryptocurrency, where there's little precedent to fall back on. But it helps us too on more fundamental issues. Because in a society where most of us walk around with our digital workplace in our purses and pockets, decisions are increasingly made and informed by SMS, emails, instant messaging, and tweets. And there aren't always well recorded or indeed recorded at all. In a democracy, how does the public hold government accountable and enter into an informed debate if the record is incomplete or unreliable? Accurate records are necessary to protect citizens' rights and inform historic study. It's important that we reach decisions on issues such as these by talking to each other and learning from one another's experience. Access to information will continue to grow, but it remains a fragile right. Statutes, secrecy exemptions, or underuse all contribute to the erosion of that right. By sharing our experience and our expertise, we guard against that and we protect those rights. Together, we are stronger. The International Network of Information Commissioners sits at the heart of that collaboration. If anyone in the room wants to know more about our group or wants to get involved, please get in touch. We'd be happy to hear from you. So thank you for inviting me to be part of your day, and I hope I'll see you all in person soon. Adios.